guys, this is Alter Intel with another episode of Star Made Tech for you. Um, I'm going to be doing chain drives again because last time I did this episode, some new information has come to light since the last time, and I wanted to show you guys what I discovered. Mainly, I can get the charge, the first initial charge, I can get it down to about 45, 48 seconds. By the first video I showed you had a charge time of 90 seconds. So this one's faster. It involves two clocks. Now the problem with having two clocks is that the clocks will run at the same time as each other and therefore the two clocks, they don't count, it only counts as one because the ticks happen at the same time. So the jump drive only sees one of those ticks. The key to that is to get them out of sync. So you don't want them sending pulses at exactly the same time. And so I've made a circuit here that will get them out of sync. So it'll detect when the two clocks are in sync and it will slow it down until they get out of sync. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to turn this on and right now it's detecting that it's synced up so it's trying to slow it down. Give it a, There it goes. Now, it, now they're asynchronous. They're not at the same frequency. Well they're at the same frequency. They're not sending pulses at the same time which is going to charge my jump drive a lot faster. Twice as fast exactly. All right, so let me go ahead and turn that off. And I've also built a compact cut and pasteable version over here. It says uh, you got the on off button and you got your output button. I'm going to go ahead and build these for you in front of you so you can see how they work. But uh, let's go ahead and take it for a test spin real quick so I can show you. And we're going to go zoom out. I'm going to show you what a chain drive is. I'm not sure if some people didn't know what a chain drive does. So let me go ahead and uh, get this loaded up for you. This is what a chain drive does. So I have these jump drives hooked up to here. I push it, and it's going to instantly jump me. I'm jumping to the next sector. Jumping again. Let's get out in build mode so you guys can see. It's just going to continue to jump me. Jump after jump after jump. It's, that's what a chain drive does. All right, so let me go ahead and get out of here. Let me uh, turn this off. Um, and I've come out of the jump. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in the coordinates back to my origin. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get back there. Now for this one I am using the compact chart chain drive that I built. I have two different chain drives on my platform. I'm using the uh, cut pasteable one at this moment. As soon as we get back, there we go, turn it off. We should be back where we started. Where's my shop? Oh, there it is. All right, let's head over there. And we're going to go ahead and build another one in front of your very eyes so you can see how to build your own. I tried explaining it in a different video exactly which blocks are linked where, but it just, it was hard. So I'm just going to build it in front of you so you can see what I'm doing. So I can show you what's linked up to what as I'm doing it. It's a lot easier than trying to explain it. All right, so let's get out of here and build another one. So first I'm going to build one of these. Let's go ahead and get rid of these right here. And then it's four. And then we'll go ahead and remove these. And I'm going to build another one right here. All right, so we're going to need our um, shootout rail, and they're all going to be going down. Bring this down. Okay. So we're going to start here. One, two there, two there, and then we're going to bring three of them here, and then we're going to need our shoot other our red shootout rails. I guess the green ones are pickup rails. Somebody's probably yelling at their screen right now. Oh, you're getting it wrong. Yeah, well, I get a lot of things wrong. Um, okay, so let's put some activation gates next to these guys. Uh, activation gate here, activation gate here, here, here. A knot gate. I explained the knot gate in the last one. The knot gate kind of acts different than a uh, regular uh, logic gate because if I send a hot, when this turns on, it sends a pulse on the on pulse. This knot gate sends a pulse on the off when it's off. So when it's low or when it's yellow like this, that's when it sends a hot. So that's why that's different. Um, okay, so I need to get some AND gates in here, pull over here, 
I'm just going to put these down, and then um, you're going to watch me link them up and see how they all link together. So let's throw another activation gate down here. Alright, so, so first of all, all these guys along this, these pickup rails over here get linked up down to this bottom activation gate. It's going to be your output. That's where all the pulses are going to be fed to. These top two are going to go into your AND gates here. Then this one right here is going to go into both of these AND gates. This is your uh, synchron synchronization detector. Both of these are going to go into this knot. And what's going to happen is this knot, when it gets activated, it's going to send a down pickup rail to these guys over here to, to slow it down. So we're going to go ahead and link those guys up to this. Alright, so now when you start it up, it's going to be sending this going to be turning these things into shootout rails, so I need to have both these bottom ones turn into shootout rails, these top ones turn into shootout rails. This guy, when it gets activated, it's going to set everything, it's going to turn everything off, so all these green ones need to be set to off, actually these top two as well. I forgot to set this. So this, these shootout rails need to be set up here as well. There we go. So now these are only going to control this guy on the other end here. When I turn this on, alright, something's wrong, that's why you test. Alright, so this isn't, that's weird, should be, oh, I know why, so this, I need to link these guys up, so, C, B, C, D, and then this should go into these two, there we go, alright, that should work. There we go, now it's working. I was going to put some, sh uh, put some entities on here. Create dock. Yep. Another one. Create dock. Yep. Alright, let's go ahead and start it up, see what happens. See? Yeah, the sync. There it goes. Synced right up. Well, it's unsynced right up, so now it's going. It's sending all these pulses down here. And if I hooked it up to a chain drive, it'd work just fine. Alright, let's go ahead and turn that off. Let's go ahead and build the compact version over here. I'm not going to put in these bottom parts. You guys can figure that out. Um, when I share this video, I'll go ahead and put a link to this updated platform as well. Alright, so here we go. Um, let's go ahead and put down our rails here. Alright, this is going to be going this way. So I'm going to need my rails to go that way. Yep. This. Oop. I don't want any air connections going on. And then we're going to do our activation block inside here. This is going to go into an AND gate. And here and here. This one's going to go here. This one's going to go here. All of these are going to go into another activation block. This is going to be your output. Yep. And then these two AND gates are going to go into that NOT gate, which is going to trigger my turn off or my slowdown. Yep. And then these two, this is going to go into its own set of activation blocks, which is going to slow down just that one set of rails. And next to these, I'm going to put my next set of rails. Yep. And then over here, I'm going to put down an inner ship remote because that's how we're going to control it. And then a not gate. And then I want to put down my shootout rail. Right there. And there. Yep. Okay, now, maybe off the button. This is what happens with this button activates when everything gets turned off. And then I'm going to need a activation for manual control. I put this. So we're going to be here. Either it's backwards compatible or back, back and forth. So the uh, airship remote can turn off the manual as well. Then that also goes into my not, which goes into my off. These guys go down over here. Here, 
respectively. This one goes into this one, this one goes into this one. And these guys go into all of them. In the bottom over there, these two right here. This guy goes in right here, here. Here, this off one should be going with all of them. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. This one should be going to no, not that one. This one should just be going to the bottom. Yep, well, should be everything connected. Sure it works. Yep. Yep. That looks good. This is one of those two. Alright, so this, one to this, 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 this. Alright, so it should be good to go. That's a little bit there. Alright, so this is how you load it. This is a bit tricky because it's going to be occupying the same space as the other rails. So we're going to have to put in some loading rails. Put one, two of these guys here. And we'll put that there. Do the same thing on this end. This here. And we'll put two guys here, let's go and create some entities. This goes right underneath. Yep. Same thing over here. Create entity. Create dock. There and there. Go. Now they're loaded inside. I don't know why. It's Huh, kind of messed up. Well, we can fix it. All we have to do is change that guy out for the other way. There we go. a while for it to get unsynced. There it goes. Sometimes it takes a while. And then um, I put a display block here on mine, but we can we can do that here. Um, let me show you a quick trick on how to copy display block. Here we go. I'm just gonna go copy this one because I've already got it set up right. So R. Oh, there we go. So you hold down, you get all the way to the top left, you hold down shift, and you push the right button until it stops. I think we're good. Control copy. The right button, I mean the uh, right arrow button on the keyboard. And R, control D, there we go. Good to go. All right. So I've just built two in front of your eyes. You can see how it works. All right, that's all I got. That's the end of this episode. Thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, see you next time. Peace out.